Hi guys, Shannon from Dynamic Transit. As you can see, I'm standing in front of one of our 389 Peterbilts. One of the questions I get asked a lot by drivers when they call is, is what kind of truck am I going to be assigned? Well, I got 200 of these and that's what we're running right now. I have one or two of the 386s that we use for loaners, but right now this is our fleet. We run X15 motors in them. We are almost completely 10 speed manuals. The autos that we do have mostly have our drivers that say, my knee says the clutch needs to go. And we love our drivers, so we do what we can to take care of them. When we buy our trucks, we spec them for our driver's comfort. We spec them for efficiency. We spec them for resale as well. We don't trade our trucks in. We keep them and resell them. When you're driving for Dynamic Transit, you're driving with a company that takes care of its fleet. It takes care of its drivers. We like them to be well maintained. We can have our own shop. When you're on the road, if things need to be done, you need to call, get that taken care of. As you can see, we run aluminum all the way down. Some of our trucks have already had lights added to them. Um, even our trailers, which aren't attached right now, we run extra lights on those, just better visibility, more safety for our drivers, including the fact that we put hood mirrors on our trucks. A lot of drivers don't like them, but being able to see what's in that blind spot is important in today's world. As you can see by the inside of our trucks, this one does have both seats. We actually have a couple of drivers who've taken that seat out. They use it for their pet. They put a ref one of those tall refrigerators over there because they are on the road and that's what they want. They don't want to try and eat in the truck stop. We do have inverters in the truck. We do have APUs in the truck. There's a bunk heater as well. There's one more thing. Oh, the refrigerator, duh, of course. That one comes from Peterbilt, automatically built in. There's also a space on the passenger side for you to put a microwave and it's really close to the inverter to keep it plugged in. So when you need to eat, you don't have to try and find a truck stop. In regards to the lights and any kind of customizations on our trucks, we want the driver to be here at least six months before we do anything to it. Want to make sure that you're a good fit for us, we're a good fit for you. If we're not a good fit, it's not going to work out for very long. We want our drivers to take pride in their ride. We spend a lot of money and we want to take care of them. It's just as important for you as it is us. When you're taking care of that equipment, it's less likely to uh, sit you somewhere you don't want to be. It's one of the nice things about Dynamic is we keep enough trucks that if something happens to yours, we have a backup plan to keep you moving. A lot of the repair shops nowadays have long wait times just to get in the door. We've got some good relationships with our vendors. We're able to really get them to work with us and find out if it's gonna be something we need to give them another truck or it's gonna just be a day or two. That's what's called being in business for 36 years and knowing who you're working with. We do have a tri-pack APU on our units. On the other side, you would find there's a chain box because we do run the Northwest and we do have to carry chains in a lot of these states. We don't ask our drivers to put those chains on, um, but the other side of it is you could be in a situation where you have to have them to get out of something. So it's always a question with your driver manager, your load planner on what you would wanna do in those kinds of situations. And as always, got a question it's more important to call get the right answer have a wonderful day and we will talk to you soon don't forget to call recruiting